I ever made was the first day I walked into a Phoenix. Welcome back. This weekend was Bellevue's annual Fashion Week, and stylist Darcy Camden had primo seats to get a look at the trends for fall. Here with her take on the trends is Darcy. Hello! You went to the posh party. You looked so beautiful. It was so posh. Was it? Producer Heidi and I went out, and <laughs> I love... Bellevue Collections Fashion Week. I think they do an amazing job. They raise money for charity. It's a fun time had by all. Mm -hmm. Everyone is dressed to the nines. I'll bet. That secretly is my favorite part of fashion shows. Like I love seeing what's on the runway, but there's like a whole second runway of just all of the people who are there to celebrate fashion yep. and wear their favorite outfit. And I learn just as much from seeing what real people are wearing as what the models wear. Well, in fact, that's so important because you style real people to, to do these yeah. things, not just models and that sort of thing. So what were your thoughts just encapsulating what you saw about trends? Well, there's a lot of layered, th lots of layering, and that's mm -hmm. what we're going to bring to life in this segment today. Um, really, what I, I took what we saw on the runway, and I mm -hmm. loved everything that I saw on the runway. Uh, but sometimes when we see something on a runway or we see something in a magazine, we think, well, that's a great idea, but that isn't practical for my life. And so I think it's important to bridge how models would wear something or mm -hmm. how stylists would style something in, in the extreme. For a photo shoot or whatever. But then dilute it down for real life in yeah. a way that's practical and relatable. That makes sense. All right, let's take a runway picture here to show you one of the trends, which is stripes. And you just happen to be the I model for this. I happen to be both <laughs> Heidi and I went nuts when we saw this. We're both going to own this look. And I went right out to Forever 21 and bought this skirt for $23. Cool. So another great thing. I love when everything is really affordable. Um, went into Forever 21. It had been a while since I've been into Forever 21, and I was excited to find some great stuff there that I think works for all ages. Yeah, and you don't have to be a youngster. There are pieces in there that are probably exactly. good for teenagers, but there are also pieces that are good for yeah. all the rest of us, and they don't Moms cost and daughters can shop together. On the runway, it was very rainbow bright. It was a lot of stripes on stripes on stripes. Mm -hmm. I like pairing it with something um, a little bit more sophisticated, maybe, um, just a solid dark color. Making a case for rainbow, I think it's very versatile and that there's eight different colors in this skirt. So yep. you could literally pull out any color that's in this skirt or even a neutral that isn't and wear it all the different ways. That's very cool. All right, so uh, picture number two has to do with another trend. What is this? This is layered plaid. And so when we see a texture like plaid, we tend to have one plaid item per outfit. And what was new this year, what we're seeing a lot, is plaid with plaid with plaid. And here it's a little extreme, but I'm going to show you a way that we can do it that I okay. think is a little more subtle and maybe a little more relatable. And something we'd feel comfortable wearing. Yes. Because oftentimes these things look great, but in real life we're not so sure. So let's take a look. So this entire outfit is from Uniglo over at the Bellevue Club. Mm -hmm. And the coat, amazing, under $100. And I know we're all thinking about getting like a coat heading into fall and winter, yep. and I think it's really great when we can find one that's affordable. I love that it's a solid camel color on the outside, and it has a subtle plaid pattern on the inside. Mm -hmm. So we get a little hint of plaid. We put it over a plaid skirt. And I think the trick to having to layering up plaids is when um, each piece is uh, similar colorways. So the gray plaid skirt is gray on gray on gray. The coat is camel on camel. And there's another third plaid option here in the scarf, which is just a mostly red subtle plaid mm -hmm. hint there. That doesn't look crazy at all, mm -hmm. even though there are three plaid pieces and you then have the beautiful bag that brings out the, the pop of color at the top. You almost don't notice it and you uh -uh. definitely don't feel like it's wearing you. I think everyone kind of can tell when they've crossed the line when yeah. they feel like maybe <laughs> maybe it's a little bit much. Yeah. If your internal radar goes off to say this is too much, dial it back. You can take off one thing. If this felt like too much to you, you could easily take off the scarf that and wear that in great. another outfit. I wouldn't even think multiple plaids looking at, at the model. Thank you very much. Okay, so our third picture, extreme animal print. Yes, and what is new this year, I always, when I watch these fashion shows, I look for what is new this year that we didn't see last year or previous years. 
leopard print, animal print in general is not a new idea. A lot mm -hmm. of us already have this at home in our closets. But what's new this year is that we're wearing multiple animal prints in a single outfit. Now Which I can see how this could get out of hand. Totally. <laughs> this goes completely counter to what I've been saying for yes. years. Yes. Which is like if they don't get along in the wild, they're not going to get along in your outfit. <laughs> like a cheetah and a zebra. It's a lot. It's a lot. But um, let's go to a Zara look that I think shows this in a way that is, um, again, more subtle. So this entire look is from Zara and we have a leopard print scarf. Mm -hmm. And in general, these kind of neck kerchief scarves are all the rage. So that's good news for a lot of us who have these already at home. We have a lot of them. We have right. a drawer full we of them, them that we haven't yep. been wearing. Bring them out there, the height of fashion. So we've got a little pop of leopard print right there that brings um, color and excitement to an otherwise neutral palette mm -hmm. of gray and olive green. Um, and then there's a snakeskin booty. So there's just another little hint of animal print and both uh, the snakeskin and the leopard are ba based with brown and black. So it's kind of the same colorways. They nod to each other. But that's not too much at all. It doesn't distract. No, that looks great. Yep. Thank you so much. And then um, layered leather. Now this is interesting because mm -hmm. this is sort of like the denim thing. You can do it. You just need to be a little bit careful. So what are your tips on Leather this? on leather. So while it's cool, it, on the runway, it's also a little bit severe because that, I mean, leather is kind of severe in general and when you layer it up, cross. it's a little motocross. And so, but I loved this really cool BCBG leather, it's faux leather, uh, vegan leather, it's like a vest. Mm -hmm. And this is, I bought this too, um, and I think this is great for wearing over cocktail dresses or shift dresses or any dress with an extreme sleeve because that was such a big trend from previous years yes. these bell sleeves yep, yep. and it's hard to put a blazer over that because the sleeve doesn't fit so a vest is perfect because the dramatic sleeve is exposed this um, this is my dress as well from Macy's and um, it can be, when I wear it, it's a little tight. I feel like I need two layers of Spanx. And so what's cool about this vest is that it goes you over cover it and it up. covers all of that. <laughs> and it just breathes all new life. So I'm thinking about all of the dresses that I have at home that I've worn for years. And now I can put this really cool vest piece over it and it gives it all new life. Um, and it's also long enough that I think it's gonna be warm. You can wear it with tights, you can wear it with boots, um, wear it over pants. So whenever you're, adapting something new into your wardrobe, it's really important to think of the variety of ways you can wear it. See something on a run, on a runway, one way, uh, but in real life, we'd wanna be able to think more of you know that. more than yeah. one way that Great you can really wear it. Too. All right, so another picture, you call this urban prairie. What, how would you describe this style? This is kind of like, cowgirl in the city yeah okay. um, and it but I, it's really comfortable and I think that it um, is something that we could we have a lot of use for here in the Pacific mm -hmm. Northwest because it's not overly fancy is it a poncho it is a poncho okay. good news for <laughs> poncho lovers <laughs> Ponchos are very in. It's sort of like they're big and then they maybe go away and yeah. they don't know. So if anybody was wondering if ponchos are in, they're let's back. just say for definitively, yes they are. Right. And if you don't have one, you can go to Uniglo and get this one for $19. It's fantastic, you can also wear it like a scarf. But the way that I styled it is a layer over another lighter jacket. So in this case, we put it over a jean jacket, but you could also wear it over a blazer, you could wear it over a leather jacket, you could wear it over a trench coat. So this is great when you're sort of transitioning from fall to winter, and you have a lighter coat that you're worried isn't gonna be mm -hmm. quite warm that enough. Maybe sense. if you're going to a game or something like that, you could put a poncho, just the top layer over it. And her amazing dress, which could also, she's wearing it bare leg right now because it's still a little bit warm with a cool little uh, little urban prairie booty action a there little kind go. of take on a cowboy boot but, and that is from Express but she could also wear this with a taller boot or a legging underneath when it that gets colder. That is great. Thank you so much. Thank you That's so much. That's great advice and those are so affordable those pieces. Thank Everything you for that. Everything was. Oh, like it. When we come back the author of Breaking Up With Busy offers practical solutions for overscheduled women. We'll be back after this break. Look at everybody.